Boys and girls, it is always a great day to break out a shotgun, and today we got the Benelli M2. This is an LE model. We're gonna shoot some Federal Flight Control Buckshot. I've got eight rounds. Let's deliver some hate. <laughs> Have a chat about this thing. Probably one of Benelli's best shotguns. I love this freaking gun. Let's have some fun. Yeehaw. Yes, sir. And then there were none. All right. Hope everybody's having a great day and thanks for tuning back in. We have a little bit of a reprieve here in Georgia. It is overcast today. It's still a little bit humid, but what a great day to be outside shooting and why not deliver the heat? When we got a breeze blowing, it's overcast. What a great day to be outside. And uh, picked up this Benelli M2. And uh, you know, I just absolutely love Benelli shotguns. I know they do represent a pretty considerable investment, but as auto loaders go, in my opinion, they're definitely the top of the heap. They are wonderful guns. Uh, the M1 Super 90 is no longer produced by Benelli. Right now, the M2 is their flagship, you know, sort of entry-level M-series shotgun. Uh, we've done videos on the M4, the M3. Uh, Chad has a law enforcement M2 with a pistol grip stock. This has a straight Comfort Tech stock. And I picked it up and it just had, oh, such a wonderful balance and just so lightweight and just the perfect utilitarian uh, personal defense shotgun, you know, good for riding around on your four-wheeler or whatever. Just a, if you just need a good, reliable, tactical shotgun, um, in my opinion, the M2 represents probably one of the best, you know, let's just, I, I hate to use the word entry level because it's not really an entry level shotgun. All of their stuff is upper tier in their auto loaders, but in the Benelli series, if you don't need the bells and whistles of the convertible M3 that can go from pump to semi, uh, you've probably seen our video on that particular shotgun, or if you don't need the bomb proof capacity and, and function and reliability of the M4, which the M2 is a reliable shotgun as well, but the M4 is definitely a bomb proof combat shotgun that can really deliver the goods. You can ghost load that thing out, I think, to nine shots, which is great. Uh, this one holds eight with one in the chamber with a standard capacity uh, seven shot tube. A lot of these uh, M2s, unfortunately, are neutered uh, that come into the country. This is a law enforcement model, uh, which I don't even know what that means. because I just walked right in and bought it and wasn't a big deal. But these are great shotguns. I love them. I love the texture that they went with on this Comfort Tech stock. It is just fantastic. Not too aggressive, but very easy to hold on to. The ghost ring sights are just wonderful on this shotgun. I love it. The butt pad, super nice and comfortable, really easy to shoot. Um, full adjustability on the uh, ghost ring sights, so no worries there. You got a drilled and tap receiver. It does come with uh, nylon plugs to protect uh, the holes, but they just pop out and you can mount you a flat top on here if you want to put you a you know, red dot or something. But in my opinion, that kind of ruins this gun. I feel like this gun is best kept just like it is. Throw a sling on it and uh, do your thing, okay? Uh, this gun does utilize screw-in chokes. We are shooting a modified choke. Uh, with this particular shotgun and with that flight control, oh yeah, it definitely delivered the goods. We're gonna break out some slugs and we have some watermelons. And this time we are going to shoot some Berniki offerings. Now we just filmed a video on the Supernova, which is the pump action version, uh, you know, from Benelli's line that is fantastic. And they do represent a really nice value uh, in a shotgun. But we're gonna take a couple of slugs and I'm gonna shoot a different slug at each watermelon. Now in the last video, I ruined the shot because I missed the middle watermelon. This time, I'm gonna hit all three, dang it, if it's the last thing I do. And we're gonna shoot the watermelons in the same order as the previous video. So we have the one and three eighth ounce Berniki Black Magic slug. Uh, it's getting 3,000 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle moving at about 1,500 feet per second with a one and, th one and three eighth ounce or 600 grain slug. Uh, this slug is bad news bears, and no pun intended on that, but believe me, all right? We're gonna shoot a, a Berniki Special Forces short magnum, okay? Uh, our specs on that, we've got 1476 at the muzzle generating 2,500 foot-pounds of energy. And then we'll follow up with an anti-terror slug from Berniki. These are moving 1690, generating 2639 foot-pounds of energy. Very, very cool, and that's a one ounce slug, so a little bit less weight. Uh, but the construction of this slug, they're supposed to be able to shoot through a lot of gnarly stuff. So, all right, last is the ATS. Middle is the Special Forces 
uh, barrier penetrator, and then we've got the, we're gonna start out the party with the uh, big and mighty black magic. Now, this is gonna kick pretty hard, but hopefully this recoil system will help and this comfort tech stock will help with the recoil. Black magic on the right, uh, special forces short magnum in the middle, and then our anti-terror slug on the left. I'm gonna work my way right to left, one slug per watermelon, just so we can sort of compare and see what they look like, okay? Let's have some fun. And these should be real nice through our modified choke. These are all Forster style slugs. Uh, so absolutely no problem shooting out of a, out of a choke uh, as long as you don't exceed modified. Modified's as tight as you want to go on slugs. Okay, <clears throat> especially with any, anything other than a, a Forster style slug. And what I mean by that, you notice that the edge of the slug has these ridges on it, okay? Now those ridges serve a couple of different uh, you know, functions, but the main function is because where the ridges are, the, the material is real thin, so they can pass through a choke without any type of an issue, without causing extreme pressure or causing any damage to the gun, okay? That's what that Forster cut is for. Now also, it does kind of help them spin a little bit as well, but not much out of a smooth bore. Okay, here we go. Right to left. You ready, Chad? All right, here we go. Whoa, yeah. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I had watermelon literally land right here from all the way over there. Uh, now that Black Magic had pretty, pretty decent little, little thump going on there. Okay, that that that's gonna leave a mark on on my old shoulder. Okay, but uh, you know that is quite the load. All right, we've got some military buckshot. We'll have a little bit more fun here. Oh yeah. Beautiful, 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 okay? Now, uh, one question that some of you may have uh, lo uh, rolling around in your little heads, uh, you cannot ghost load the M2, the way the bolt is cut on this gun, and really just the design of the gun itself. Uh, the M4 is cut to where you can slip around on the, on the carrier, under the carrier, with a full tube, and you can get, I believe it's eight shots in the Benelli, but this, this gun, you're gonna be down one uh, because you can't ghost load it. And the thing is, ghost loading is not very practical anyway. It's not something you're going to do, you know, unless you just kind of, you know, you have the gun staged with it ghost loaded. Yeah, you can do that. But you're generally not going to, you know, ghost load on the fly. But it's just kind of a, a way to sneak an extra round in there. Uh, the M2 will not ghost load. Um, what a fantastic gun. One of the, uh, the chief differences on the M2 as well is also the charging handle on the bolt. Uh, uses a, more of a kind of a sporting style with just a little knurled, you know, lever there. Uh, that's a little bit different than the other offerings from Benelli, and I would imagine that's also a cost-saving measure. Uh, these guns do represent the most affordable auto loaders uh, that are out there. And, and look, when you look at the three-gun and competition realm, you're going to see a lot of M2s. And there's a reason for that, because the M2s are super, super reliable shotguns. They always work. Right, uh, we had our, our buddy Barry over at Crazy Quail. We were at range day one time. He brought his Crazy Quail machines out. And if you haven't seen those things, they're insane. I might even have some footage floating around of us shooting those things. And he has some M2s set up on those X-rail things. I don't know if you've ever seen them. It's like a drum magazine that goes on the end of the M2. And it, 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 I don't remember if it's helical or if it just automatically indexes, but I think it holds like 30 shots. So when you're out there shooting a Crazy Quail, you've got an M2 with 30 rounds in it. And not once in the entire day did I see any of those M2 shotguns fail a single time. They never failed to work. They were bone reliable all day long. And that's why the M2 is just such a popular gun that continues uh, to be out there because they're just fantastic. It's a legacy design for Benelli and I don't think they're ever not gonna make this shotgun because it just represents a workhorse for them uh, in that realm, okay? All right, we're gonna shoot. A bit of military buckshot. I think that's what I loaded. Yeah, military buckshot. This is double aught. We'll take out a few things. Have some fun here, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's good stuff. I wanted to kind of showcase this gun and, uh, and show it off a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys to tears with too much more. I just want to shoot it a little bit, show it off. 
Uh, this is a 2021 production, uh, so I kind of wanted to just get an idea of what would be indicative of a, you know, newer uh, M2. So we wanted to kind of show it off and just see what it's made of. And obviously you can see it delivers the goods. And uh, these are just fantastic guns. I want to thank you all for watching today's video. We wanted to throw a little lead down range. It was just such a nice day. Uh, no reason to not get out and do some filming. I hope you're all having a great day, a great week. And thank you for tuning in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support the channel, go over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up an awesome new t-shirt like the one I'm wearing here. We got some great tees over there. That's one way you can support the channel directly if you wish to do so. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that notification bell and make sure you're subscribed so you get all of our videos. Leave us a comment below. What's your favorite Benelli shotgun? Is there something you don't like about Benelli shotguns? Is there something you don't like about the M2? Let me know in the comment section below. Have a great day. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.